80% of shipping customers are willing to pay a green premium. But even with this willingness, it's still not going to be enough to decarbonize the shipping industry. We're moving in the right direction, but not fast enough. For the second year in a row, BCG has surveyed a wide group of shipping customers globally to measure the premium they're willing to pay for decarbonized shipping. We find a premium of 3%. This is 30% higher than a year ago and could unlock an additional value of 10 to $20 billion for the industry. We also see that the share of customers willing to pay a premium is 10 percentage points higher than last year. We see two main drivers for this market evolution. Firstly, half the companies surveyed report regulation as a key driver and poised to be even more important in the future. Secondly, we see that companies are feeling increasing pressure to decarbonize their value chains in response to consumer demand. We are moving in the right direction, but it's not enough. Hoping for the market to solve the problem organically by itself simply won't work. So, how can we fix this? Policymakers hold the potential to use levers like carbon tax. In parallel, end consumers can be activated to help pay for decarbonisation. Wouldn't you be willing to pay just $1 extra for a pair of jeans if you knew that this small expense would help decarbonise the value chain? Real solutions do exist already to decarbonise the shipping industry. But to do that, shipping companies and customers must work together to unlock that potential. So let's bridge the gap and decarbonise the shipping industry before it's too late.